Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of It. I am Penj and we are back with Train Station Simulator and just as I started talking, a terrible band of thugs has arrived. Oh my goodness, there's five of them. There are five thugs. Right, okay. M b train cops, where are you? There you go. You, you're a train cop. Oh no, you're Thomas, you're not a train cop. You, Annie. Annie, sort these guys. That's it, you take the long route. Annie, there's two people brutalizing something. Really? She's going to go for the guy who just stood there. No, she's going to stand next to him. Instead of defending our property, she's going to stand next to the person here. <sighs> Thanks, Annie. That's really... That's really helped. That's... Oh, that is brilliant, Annie. I'm so glad that you're not focusing on the people that are kicking lumps out of our tech. I mean, that one's just fallen apart in sympathy. That one has just fallen apart in absolute sympathy. Wasn't there a guy just there and a guy just there? <laughs> that one's just fallen apart. Oh, there we go. Great. Brilliant. Cheers. I'm glad I employ those people. Goodness sake. Um, uh, right, I need, to, I need to clear that up now, don't I? I need to actually repair all that stuff. Right, okay, yes, clear the junk out. Put them back in. Yeah, ticket machine, ticket machine. There we go. Great. Glad I did that. Oh, and there's a mess there as well. Brilliant. Okay, so we are developing our station. We are in the campaign mode 1970. One thing I did check, one thing I did have to go and check was campaign mode 1970, it says. This little drop down here comes down. Days to complete, 46. Leaderboard points, 30. So I thought, okay. So I had a look at the... Because a campaign normally has a goal. Normally has an end goal. If you go to new game for campaign mode, you get campaign mode, one out of eight is this one. Develop a station in 60 days from 1970 to 2010. Now, am I still in 1970? How do I progress the... How do I progress time? Like, how do I come out of 1970 and go to 1971, for example? Because I've had, I started with 60 days. I'm now on 46 days. I'm no nearer to going to 1971. And I imagine as you move through time, you un unlock various bits and bobs. You unlock different tech and different ticket machines and different trains and longer trains or whatever, that kind of thing. So I don't really, I don't really understand how I'm supposed to move time forward or what the end goal is other than get these points which keep going away so get leaderboard points but i'm not really that bothered about that but okay that's fine i mean we'll we'll that we'll just keep playing we'll keep playing it's okay so we've got our tracks in so we've got four tracks it's going okay we've got money coming in which is good we've got 9950 from our tickets today what we do need to do is we need to put in, we need to expand a little bit more. We need certainly need to put in another toileting facilities because we now have food replaces. And as someone pointed out in the comments, more food and drink places equals more trips to bathrooms required, which is very logical. Uh, one thing I am going to check, however, I'm just going to check the length of the trains. Yes, yeah, so all the trains are three. Yes, yeah, so all the trains are three carriages and presumably an actual train itself. Or does that count as a carriage? Uh, what's the one in now? What time is it now? 3.20. So the one at 3.20. It must be this one. It must be National on track. What track are you on? Track 1. Oh, it must be that one. Arrival. Ah, it's this one. Of course, it's Departure at 4. So there's, it's that type and there's three. Wait, 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 wait. There's three carriages. So it counts the front. It counts the train bits as a carriage. Okay. So only our platforms. Our platforms only need to be three long at the moment and as someone pointed out thank you very much i built this platform out to five i might just do it to five anyway just because that's the maximum it goes i needn't have built all this platform here because that's a terrible waste and you're absolutely correct that is a stupid waste of money you are you are absolutely right and i might even undo it all i might dig it up and put proper platforms in just because it feels like you know it feels better it feels like it should be like that uh, this train station, this train here though, platform one doesn't have even enough, doesn't have enough for one platform yet. So I possibly should sort that out. Oh, I can hear some more baddies. I can hear some more vandals. So let's get that down to three, and then flip. I can't. I don't like not being able to see. I think that's pointing the right way. So to there, like so. So that's down to three, which is probably as big as it's going to be. But these ones can go to the end. That's fine. They can just go to the end. Whatever. I'm not too fussed about that. So that can go to the edge. Good. Let's put the floor tiles in the middle for the sake of it, like that. What does that noise mean? Oh, is she dealing with the baddies now? Oh, they've blown up a... What was just there? What was that? Trash cans, bins. Okay, yes, they blew those up. Is that the only thing that took damage? 
He certainly looks it. Okay, I can live with that. I can cope with that. That's fine. Right, let's drop standard floor into the middle here just to make it look slightly more finished. And all the way down here as well. And yes, it's probably costing me money, but that's fine. I can't get to the edge. Let me do the last tile. Let me put the let me do that tile. Let me do that tile, please. Y y yes. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and I am going to undo these tiles. They can go to five. Five long is the maximum we want the platforms to be. So let's undo the platform at five, at the length of five. For some reason, I can't do that one. I guess I can do that. It's red. I thought that red meant no, but okay, that's good. Uh, and drag out normal floor tiles. So it's all very lovely. Normal floor tile all the way up to just there. Splendid. Right, okay. That looks a bit more normal. Let's drag that down as well. Why not? Let's spend all our money. Yes, there we go. And then this can come down to five long. Why not? So where is that going to go? To just there. Flip that round and do one to five. Okay, good. So we've got that sorted. Let's just draw that down to there like that. And that to there like that for the sake of completeness. Right, lovely, splendid. So then we want to mimic those. But I don't know if we need any more tracks at the minute. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure we do. I don't think we need any more tracks as it is right now. What we then want to focus on is, if we can afford it when we get there, City Transit, we want to get both VIP National Parking, Attention. because they pay monies. VIPs pay more money, apparently. And I wouldn't mind getting an underground connection in, but that costs an absolute load of money. So we've finished for the day. We've made an all right amount of money. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'll take that from the... Um, the vending sales, that's good. Oh, it's still going on. We're still making money from vending. People are coming out in a little late drink as they finish work. That's it, folks. Finish work. Stop by the bar. You're all here very late. You're all here very late. Okay, right. Let's speed time on. There we go. Good. Right. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Time normal. Time normal. I haven't done my timetable. Oh, is it retaining that one? Okay, that is absolutely fine. Good job. Yes, retain that thing. Thank you very much. Okay. It's all looking nice and quiet. It's all looking good. Right, we got paid. So, let's put in this. VIP National Parking. We made a space for it down here. Let's just drop that in just there. So that... Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes. It's got a red carpet in. It's got a red carpet and little pot, little sort of uh, round kind of topiary plants and kind of rubbishy looking wooden benches. But that's fine. Yeah, the VIPs are going to walk straight through and out. So, yeah. Okay, that's good. I like that. What's that? Start crane? Uh, okay. Ooh. Oh, what does this do? What did I just do? What's this? What's this? Okay, this is a fun game. I have no idea what this is. Should I be doing this? <laughs> is this something I should be doing? I genuinely don't know. That gives me money from playing a little game. Okay, I'll, I'll gladly do that whilst whilst nothing else is happening. What do I do with the three and four? Has this always been here? Has, have they just added this? I haven't noticed if it's been updated, if I'm completely honest. Are there other little things to do? Is there one up here? There's a line along here as well. Let's get rid of the city transit thing. No, it's my timetable set. Yes, there doesn't look to be anything else over there. What's this little thing then? It's giving me money. I mean, that's no bad thing. I'm all for that. Okay, start the crane. Well, let's move time on a little bit, shall we? Or does that always go that slow? <laughs> the crane always moves that slow. That's fine. That's fine. The place can look after itself. Another 5k? Yeah, another 5,000. So I could get, what, 30 grand just from doing this? Okay. Yep, yeah, and another one. This is very weird. This is very unexpected. I didn't expect to see a thing like this at all here. So I'm, yeah, not horrified. I'm a bit shocked. I could have got loads of money out of it. Yep. Last one. Drop that down. Start the crane. Oh, I can hear someone being resurrected. Brought back to life by the paramedics. Good job, paramedics. Right, start the crane. And it goes up here. And that's it, is it? I, I, okay. Does a train come along and take these away? That is very strange. Okay, I, I didn't build this. I didn't build the three and four. I didn't build... I mean, how they get there, I don't know. How they get there, I genuinely don't know. 
There's no roads. <laughs> there's, there's not a road to it. I don't know. Okay, I just made myself 30 grand. That was nice. That was quite lovely. Oh, what I should do is possibly clear away. Let's go back to normal speed for... No. Let's go back to normal speed for a second. Objects. Clear that and put the trash cans back where they were because that makes a little bit more sense, doesn't it? And what I might do is we might need another lavatory facility. So what I might do is take these benches out, put another restroom across here. So let's just take those benches away. Bit, bop, and bop, like so. And then when we get to tomorrow, because I think restrooms are quite expensive, the big one. Yeah, it's vandal proof. So when we get to tomorrow, if we just hurry time on, we'll put another restroom next to the control. So the control can just be flanked, flanked by restrooms. I'm sure that smells delightful. And um, yeah, then we've got enough. I think we'll have enough for everybody coming in and out of the station at that point. And then obviously we need to build over here, which would be quite cool. But at the moment, let's just get this bit worked on. Uh, tickets. Oh my goodness. We've made 100,000. Now is that the is that the VIPs? Is that the VIPs giving me that money? Okay, that is a ludicrous amount of money I've just made. <laughs> That's a stupid amount of money. Okay, the timetable is staying the same. That's fine. Right. Uh, facilities. Public restroom large. Let's have the doors on this side then. So, bump. Right. And then, put those benches back because they're quite nice. They're a good, good place to sit down. Three, four, five. That also means we can put some pretty things like that. Let's put that there. And a plant a thing like that. And then some trash cans just there. Because why not? That's nice. And oh, there's a big hole in that pavement. Sort that out, please. Oh, I've, I've put some trash cans down. <laughs> Just dropped them into the middle there. Um, okay, so now we've got an extra restroom. That's probably a good thing. I'd l I'd, I want to know what's on the other side of there. I'm sure there is stuff. I just don't know what it is. And I don't think, unless anyone tells me otherwise, that you can revolve the camera. You can't turn the camera around, I don't think. So I'll never be able to find out what's just there. <laughs> never mind. Right, does our station need anything? So size, okay, platform. Information is a bit lacking. Information is a bit limited. What can we put in that gives us some more information stuff? Right, a timetable board. That's a good thing. This bit here is a bit empty, isn't it? This bit here is a bit empty. How about we have a little bit along here where we have some benches to sit on. So going out like that. And then behind it have an information point. Have ourselves a timetables board. And have ourselves some mailboxes like that. There we go. So it's a little bit in the middle. That might help. That might help up the... Yes. No. No. No No flipping difference at all. What can we add that actually gives us a lot of information? Yeah, these things. So plus 10 points. Plus 10 points. All these things give us stuff. Plus food points. Drinks points. Okay, yes. We need this. We need the newspaper stand, ideally. Don't we, really? Another thing we need to do is put in the other tracks. Just because I want the train station to look standard. However... If we're making that much money per day, what I would like to do is wait until the end of the day and get this in. Get an underground connection, 200 grand, vandal proof. Just drop that in wherever. I don't think you can turn it around. It can't be to turn around. But yeah, if I just drop that there for 200 grand, 20 or 30 passengers an hour, that's got to be worth it. That's got to be very, very cool if I drop one of those in. And then we'll have all of the city transit connections in, which would be good. And that one will bring in loads of people. And that will just generate more money for later on. So what I think we're going to do is hurry time on, as we are doing now, toward the end of the day. Oh, look at all the money coming in. People, £150 on a vending machine item. Good grief. <laughs> the 1970s are very expensive for vending machines. They dished out, I don't know, diamonds or gold watches or something. I don't know. 150 quid. Good Lord. Uh, yes, but... There we go. So we're going to wait. Why are we doing this? Have we got enough employees? Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, now we can hire another police person. Should we hire him? So let's have a look. Let's put that slow, slow down. There we go. So who do we have? We have someone starting at midnight until 7. Clara M. Midnight until 7am. Then Annie takes over. 7am until 3. 
Butch takes over at three till midnight. Is it worth adding another person in? Add Bill, so Bill T, big, big old Bill T, is a 26-year-old married man without kids. He used to work for the National Bank for three years. He collects stamps. That's good. Hello, Bill T. I'm glad you collect stamps. That's very nice. Let's hire Bill T. When do we want to do his hours, however? I think we want to adjust his hours so he appears... Yes, he doesn't really fit. Or do we just make sure that we've got four people on? Their productivity is better. So we have them working six hours. So she does midnight till six. She does six till noon. He does noon. Oh, no, that's midnight. No, wrong one. He does noon until six. And then they do six until midnight. Uh-oh, thugs. And then we give them a bit more salary. Give them 500. You, give, you have more salary. You have more salary. You have more salary. Why are you, Butch T, on duty resisting the productivity? There. Good. Better. So, yeah. We've got someone on at all times. 6 p.m. until midnight is Butch. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. And they've got a bit less a bit less pressure on them and they can be more productive. Uh, okay, right. Speed time on. Let's hurry things along. Stop selecting people. Stop being silly. There we go. Bish, bash, bosh. Lots of money coming in. Loads of money coming in. Yes, this is very cool. And that, that amount of money there will give us enough. Oh, no, it won't. No, it won't. It's just just shy it's oh no with that it will yes of course it will i was looking at just the tickets but no with vending which is colossal 33 grand in vending yes okay right let's go to slow time i think i think i need to do this yes okay well this worked before seemingly it seems to be bringing quite a bit of money so let's do it again that'll do splendid and now city transit underground connection Drop an underground connection in. There we go. Splendid. Look at that. That looks cool. I like that. It's got the proper map thing and a lift bit and that coming out. Mmm. And mmm for metro, presumably. So now I have every single city transit thing sorted. I've got every single city transit connection in. And that's very cool. Okay. So now it's just a case of, of just building the station up. But I've got 40 leaderboard points 43 days left to complete everything so it's just a case now then of i want to get the extra lines in the extra train lines in so we'll have two like we do here so two short ones but why don't the rest can we have another two short ones because then i want to repeat this kind of setup here again just here and then two short tracks maybe we have three shorter tracks and one longer track at the end like that Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's make track five long. Track five can be long, matching that one. Track six, seven, eight can all be short. And this bit here, which is where the VIP people can come in, can be all cool and paved and look all sort of funky and jazzy. That's a good idea. Uh, okay, right, but for right now, why is timetable flashing on off? I've sorted it. Timetable's done. Right now, I, I, can't, I can't build anything. <laughs> I'm, just sort of, I'm just sort of sat waiting. So I think we just need to hurry it along, to be honest, until I've got enough money to build all these tracks. And the tracks are really expensive. Standard train rails are costly, look. So there we go. Let's start that off. Let's start them all off. Yay, not enough money. There we go. Okay, right. I'm going to just wait until the end of the day. I'm going to sit and watch as the money rolls in, hopefully. And uh, yeah, just, just sit. Now, I could take out another loan. Oh, I can repay the loan. I can re... Well, I can't because I can't afford it. But I could, in theory, repay that loan. Uh, 180170 Now, I could wait a while and pay the loan off. That might be worth doing. And that saves me another 4400 ish per day. Because uh, I'm paying it over 43 days, which is a long time. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. I don't like being in debt to people. I'm done now. The whole, the whole thing is sort of kicking off and is going quite nicely. I've got 20000 from tickets, 14 grand, 15 grand, 16 grand, 17 grand. Vending is very popular. Everyone loves vending. So I'm getting, making enough money. So what I'm going to do is... Do you know what I do need to do? I need to employ another cleaner. I need another cleaner person. Uh, yes, you, cleaner person. Daisy M. I mean, it makes no difference. Is that A married girl from Italy. She used to work for a university in Rome, but was fired a year ago. Oh. <laughs> Why would I want to employ someone who's fired? Gina B... 
Norman B. Molly G. Merrick T. 59-year-old married man from Manhattan. He works at the Transportation Museum and collects model trains. Yes, you. Yes. Merrick T. Yes. You collect model trains. You are the awesomes. So let's have you in the morning then. Yeah, that's good. And let's hire another one to come in late at night as well. Let's have one that comes in later. So it comes in at, say, 5 until midnight. There. Like that. Or 6 till midnight. Like that. Give you a bit more money because I want your productivity to go up because I want you to be quicker. Yeah. Bosh, bosh, bosh. All bit higher for you. Oh, right. No, Thomas S. I'm not paying you any more. <laughs> you rip-off merchant. You know what you're doing. And let's give these guys a bit more money as well because you're actually saving lives and that's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And then you guys need some more money because you're being ripped off a little bit. Yeah, okay. Oh, don't, don't talk to each other about your salaries because one of you gets paid 100 quid more than the other one. And you guys are all produ productive. You got hang on, slow, slow mode, slow mode. Let's just get your productivity up. Everyone can be productive. That we've got. There's rubbish here. Why is there no one here? And there's thugs. So there's thugs and there's rubbish. Oh, no one's here at two in the morning. Ah, maybe we should hire. Joe, you know what? Let's hire Gina B. Um, and then let's put her starting at midnight until six. <laughs> and then Molly G can come on. And then that's good. Why is she not on duty? Midnight until... Oh, 6 a.m. Or possibly what I want to do. Midnight until 6 a.m. Oh, for goodness sake. Start... This is very confusing. Start at midnight. End at 6 a.m. Put that up. Right, okay. Gina B, I've given you a chance. Now, where are my police people? Clara M should be on duty. Did she go and sort all that out? Did Clara M go and sort those people out? I don't know. Um. Okay, timetable is set. We've been paid 184 grand. Is that enough to pay off the loan? Yes, it is. Repay the loan. Brilliant. So we've got not much money left, but now we're not going to be paying out five, well, whatever it was, 4,400 ish per day on a loan. So plan now, race through to the end of this day. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> we paid a lot of money there. Build cost, that must be how much the loan was because we didn't spend 184 grand yesterday, I'm fairly certain. I don't think we've done. Did we spend anything today? We've not built anything yet, have we? So, um, yeah, let's just... Oh, salaries. Salaries are expensive now. We need to we need to sell more tickets and stuff. So, yeah, let's wait for the end of the day and we'll get the tracks and the rest of the whole platform bit sorted out. Okay, so we've just skipped through a couple of days. Oh, oh, I can hear baddies. Go on, whoever it is. Are you Clara? Annie? Whichever one you are. Clara. Come on, Clara. There's clearly villains at work. Destroy them with your... Or you could just let them wander in while you go and check out the empty bus stops where nobody is because the train station is closed. Clara, Clara, they're going to start breaking things. Can you just deal with them? Go and deal with them now. It's just it's right there. It's right there. Clara, Clara, come on. I'm paying you money. I'm paying you good money for this. That's it. Evaporate them. Magic police powers, go. And magic police powers, go. What about this one? And police powers, no. Clearly he's fine, even though he's, he's obviously part of the same gang. He's obviously part of the same troublemaking group. But no, that's it. You let him go and vandalise some stuff. Off your trot. Uh, so yes, we'll just... Oh, Clara. Oh, good. He just he just evaporated into the air. <laughs> They're too long. Um, oh, the floor's falling apart a little bit there and there. Oh, have we got the same problem with our guys? Are they stuck? No, they don't look stuck. They're not there. Okay, well, we'll hopefully they'll sort that out tomorrow. Uh, so we left it run. Let it run a few days. We have three hundred sixty-seven thousand. Yesterday, the money people spent on food was ridiculous. Sixty-eight thousand, sixty-eight and a half thousand dollars on vending. Wow. So I think we'll be able to put in maybe not all of these tracks, but certainly a fair amount of them. So if we drop this in, ah, oh, now we can't go where that this ground is. That's a bit annoying. Okay, right. Get rid of that splendid okay yep yeah, let's just drop the rails in to say oh oh my mouse has gone all weird there and one two can you orient the buffer stops they don't turn around no okay just there so now that's another platform in another platform sorted let's drag that down like that so that's like that and then we want to put in actual platform stuff so that can come in and it can be five long and that can spin round and it can be five long. Right, okay, we've got another platform in. Hurrah. And then we can drag that down to there. 
and that to there. And that's that bit done. So now we've got platform, whatever that is, five in. So then my idea is six, seven, and eight. Eight hasn't actually got a starter bit on it yet. Can be far shorter. They can be far short. They can be this short. I mean, yeah, that only accommodates four, but that's absolutely fine. We've got four tracks. Uh, we'll have three tracks, sorry, that can accommodate big, long trains. But I don't think, I don't think we get any of those in this. Oh, oh, hang on. That's got five. Ah, maybe they go to the size of the track. Maybe they go to this, this size. <gasps> of course. Okay, okay, right. It's all changed a little bit. Okay, now I need to make sure... Oh, goodness me, this could be complicated. I need to make sure that I put them on the right track. So like that commuter train there can't go onto track, say, four, because it's too small. Oh, good grief. Okay, so by that regard, I think we have that as another long track and these two as shorter ones and then have this bit as a, like a, a commerce area with bars and things again. So there'll be three in the middle. I think, yeah, okay, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So let's get this. Let's make this exactly the same as that if we can afford it. Yeah, drop the buffer stop in. Uh, it's telling me I haven't got enough money. Not enough money for something. I don't know. What, I don't know what it was telling me. I didn't have enough money for, but okay. And then that wants to go into sort of there-ish. So where's the buffer stop uh, on this row? Now is this going to work? If I go to just there, if I put that. Yeah. Okay. So a buffer stop just there. Yep. Yeah, I know it's not got things in it, and a buffer stop just there. Okay, so now it's also saying you've not got the track in your spoon. But that's fine. I know that I need to build the track up to just there. So if we build as much as we can. Right, okay. That looks good to me. Speed it on to the next day. And I'm fairly certain that by the end of the day, we'll have enough money to then finish these little track bits. This bit here can have shops and eateries and things in, as can this little bit down here. Because this bit can have like a bar and a shop in it, or a shop, a food place. This can all be full of information stuff. It shall be cool. It shall be lovely. And that will all be splendid. Yeah, look. This train here is the big train. It's the big, big train. So it's got one, two, three, four, five carriages. So yes, that's obviously why I'm getting quite significantly more money as well. Because... The platforms are bigger, which means that the trains coming in can be bigger. Or is that is, is this indica indicative of time moving on or something? I don't know. I'm not getting any more objects. So I'm still stuck in the 1970s. I'm not getting anything more to, to build. So yeah, maybe it's just a case of they're in and it takes a little while for it to register that, that there's more platform. I don't know. But I mean, that didn't happen immediately, did it? That platform's been that big for quite some time. And I don't think we had really big trains coming in. But okay, look at the money rolling. Look at it. Now, one thing we do need is more seats. I think we need more seats. We also need more money, in fact. Let's wait until I've been paid. So, I've left it running for a few days. And we have been paid. We've got quite a lot of money. Because I kind of want to just get all this bit done. All the sort of flooring and such like done. And I was looking at this. So, in the future... Because I'm going to play this again. This is the 1970s campaign. And presumably, these objects are all linked to the 1970s era. So, I haven't really got anything very techy. I've not really got anything very futuristic in here. You know, like, you know, an information point and, uh, and you know, these things. These ticket machines look quite yieldy ticket machines. That thing looks relatively modern. The photo booth looks quite futuristic. But other than that, everything's, you know, relatively old. So I'm going to play another game after I finish this one with uh, in the modern era. And it'll be harder, I think, as well. But I have a vague idea about what to do. Because the trains can take five. Five carriages is the maximum a platform can hold. Now, what I would do is, this platform's already in, I believe. Platform one is already in. I don't, I don't think there's any point in changing platform one or making it shorter. That can sit at the end there. All the other platforms I would build up to, say, here. So it's got up to five carriages. So, I don't know, it'd be around here somewhere, I imagine. Build them all in a line. So you won't really have much down here in terms of anything, because they'd just be, you know, you put seats, maybe an information points, whatever, but nothing exciting. And then kind of from this upwards, so, you know, from where these are sort of ending upwards... You'd be able to have all the bars and, and benches and cool stuff and whatever else there is, particularly in the future one, I don't know. So, yeah, I, I've kind of done this a little bit. It's not the as you'd expect from a Geek Cupboard thing. It's not the best. It's not the best design. I mean, it, it, it works and it's fine. It's probably just not the best. <laughs> but it's still going to work and it's still seemingly very profitable. Right, we can drop those in. 
So now we just want to do the flooring for everything. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> right, now we don't want to do the flooring for everything just yet. What we want to do is put the platform things in. Yes, this is far better. Okay, let's drop that in. Like, uh, not there, not there. Oh, my goodness me. I am a spoon. Right, there we go, like that. And that's the other way round. Like that. Good. So that holds five. And then that can just go down to the bottom, however many that holds. Yeah, so these are a bit rubbish because they can only hold four. If I'd have made it ever so slight, it might even be... How many tiles is it? One, two, three, four, five tiles. One, two, three. If I just made that two longer, that would be it. That would hold five carriages, which is the most I believe they can hold. I don't I'm seeing any bigger than five. And the platform thing doesn't go any longer than five, as we saw here. It goes to five, X, and whatever it is, and then just stops. So if I just made them a couple bigger, it would have been fine. So yeah, maybe next time out, we shall do it that way. But we are here now, and we're doing it this way. And it's still all fine. It's still cool. It's all fun, and it's all lovely. Right, let's just do that, and the same again. For some reason, it deselected it. Not entirely sure why. Right, there we go. Now that's in. Now we can fill the rest of this stuff in. And not be an idiot. Uh, okay, yeah, like so. That can come all the way down here. That can go all the way up there. Drop this bit in like that. Now, I had an idea for down here. I thought this bit could all just be regular concourse stuff like that. Bosh. This bit here, I wanted as premium floor tile. Because like, these things don't, they don't deteriorate as quickly. So they've got durability on them, which I hadn't noticed before. So yes, I could. I mean, can I just replace them? I can. I could replace all of the floors. Oh, that's what I might do. I mean, it might look a bit weird. What's the colour of it? Ugh, it's not very nice. Or oh, a hard floor tile. Yes, I realise I just wasted a load of money doing that, but a hard floor tile. 200 per tile. So how much would it be to do that? 76,800. Do you know what? Escape that. I'm not bothered about that. Let's have... The premium floor tiles and everything then. Let's, let's let's drag that out. So let's have all this as premium. Like that. And what I wanted was this bit down here. For no reason. Because I don't think it actually has any effect. But this bit could be for the VIPs. This bit could be a VIP area. Now I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to do that. Y yes. 38400. Yes. There we go. So this is the VIP bit. We're going to have bars down here, but we're not, you know, the riffraff, we're not going to let the riffraff in. I might build a wall, in fact. I might actually build a wall if I can work out how to do it. Uh, so, yeah, so we want to upgrade these then as well. So let's let's make the, the, them durable. Let's, there we go. Nice and durable. That's what we want. Oh, I can't. Can I afford that? I might be able to afford that to just there. Okay, there we go. I mean, it looks horror. It looks worse. <laughs> it looks far worse. I'm sure it's durable, but it looks terrible. Okay. With that done, let's come out of that. Let's speed through to the end of the day. Get paid again. And we're making an awful lot of money. So get paid, get some monies, and then we'll do the rest of the floors. Or as much as we can. I think we might be able to do the rest of the floors if we get paid. We might be okay. So yeah, let's wait to the end of the day. Get monies, wait to the end of day, whatever we are. 23, get some monies, do the floors. That will be lovely. Okay. I now have a new timetable available. So I've been paid 188 grand. That's quite nice. New timetable is available. Now, how is this going to work? Why? Why is track one and track two not available for anything? Why are they not available? Why can the commuter train not come in? I don't understand why some of them are suddenly unavailable. Why can't I pick those? So I can pick that. Okay. Right. So I can't have the 5.30 or the 8.30 train anymore. Why not? Why can't I have the 5.30 and the 8.30 train that I've always had before? I don't understand why I can't do that. Okay, so this train is only two carriages. Why are all the trains a lot smaller? The trains had big carriages before. There was fives and fours and things. Now they're smaller again. So I can literally just do what I want with them there. It doesn't matter where they go. Um, all right, five and track six. I don't understand what, why that's... Ah, 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 what's this? What's this? Hang on. Is that a new track type? Is that a new... Tra advanced train rails. <gasps> it's a new thing. Okay. So if I want a track updater, select and go to track. Needs calculation. Okay, press R for track. To ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. So the tracks now need to be updated. Presumably, I've gone to 1980. 
I've moved forward in time. Okay. Right, timetable then. Let's not have anything on tracks. These tracks here. I'm going to I'm going to rejig these two tracks to make them longer. So these two tracks at the end. Let's not do anything for that. Yeah, we're going to have far less money coming in there, won't we? So tracks uh yeah, we need to upgrade. We need to upgrade all the tracks. <laughs> we need to upgrade everything. So how much money have we got? Let's do that. Advanced train rails. Right, track up data. Do this one. And uh, well, how about naught for standard train rails? How do I how do I upgrade advanced train rails? How do I upgrade track? Select and go to track. Needs calculation. Press R for track types. Uh, standard train rails or that track up data tool. I don't understand how this is supposed to work. R. I, I don't want standard train rails. I want advanced train rails, please. The more advanced, the better. But no, seemingly I can't have advanced train rails. For whatever reason, it doesn't let me do it. Advanced buffer stop? No, and no. Okay. Am I supposed to take the platforms out and work the timetable around them? That doesn't do anything. Track updater. Select and go to track. Needs calculation. I don't understand it. I've gone to the track. I can't upgrade that because it won't let me. Uh, yeah, so press R for track types. Then it just does nothing. Standard train rails. Well, I don't want to upgrade. I want to go to advanced train rails, obviously, because I want the advanced ones, because otherwise it's not updating it, is it? Okay, that might be something we have to think about for next time out. We're going to have to, because we're going to have far less trains. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed that one. I messed up, because I'm going to adjust these. So we're going to have a lot less trains next time out, which probably is not the best thing. So if I can just do this now, we've got nothing on track seven as it stands right now. Right, build, destroy, destroy that. And then can we, then, is that how we update the track now? Track update, no buffer stop on this track. Okay, if I put the buffer stop, just how many more did it need? One, two, three, so it needed two more squares, another two. So if I put the buffer stop there, is that right? Hang on. Another two squares at the end of it. So just there. No, because that's only one more square. That's that. So yeah, so it needs to go to there. So if I take out... Oh, goodness me. Right, take out those two bits like that. Put in an advanced buffer stop. Right. And then advanced train rails can go there and there. Now does it update it? Does it now understand that I want to update it to advanced train rails? Yes. Right. How do I calculate this then? Track up data tool. Up, make, do updating track up data tool. <laughs> it's a rubbish up data tool. This is a, this is a terrible tool. Do you know what? Goodbye. I've got, I've got so much money. I'm just going to obliterate that from existence. In comes the advanced rails. Bosh. There we go. Okay. That's a bit weird then. Right. What other things have we got? <gasps> We've got other things. Ticket machine too. Okay, we have to... Oh my goodness. We're going to have to modernise. Flower decorations. Oh, there's loads of stuff. Coffee stands. Coffee stands. Coffee stands. Facilities. They're more or less the same. Well, what's that? A police station. <gasps> awesome. Control from 1970 to 1980. Control more than two tracks. Drinks bar. That looks cool. The drinks bar looks good. Still, the public restrooms are in. Employees are still the same. And that's... The same. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay, right. We have we've we've come into the 1980s and there is an awful lot for us to do in terms of renovating these tracks, but I think we'll get there. Now it's going to require us to obviously do a lot of demolitions work of what we've just. I know I've just put this in. <laughs> I just put that in just mere seconds ago, and now I am undoing it all in order to put something else in. But never mind, <laughs> never mind. That's all. That's all fine. It's all fine. So let's drag this in. The last thing we can do is put as much of that track in as we can then. So let's just drop that in to there. That won't like it because it's not got a thing on the end of it. But there we go. So next time out, yeah, we're going to be doing 1980 stuff. So we're going to have to replace some stuff. Possibly take out some bits and bobs. Replace these old information points with new things. Are there better information points? Trash cans. New trash cans. Take out the old ones. Put the new ones in. Station map, yes, all this cool stuff. Public phones. Okay, yep, yeah, there's going to be lots of coffee stands, coffee. 
better ticket machines. Ticket machine two. I imagine they're quicker. Yeah, okay, right. Lots to do next time out because we've gone to the 1980s. And, oh, maximum passengers reached wait to clear. What What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, weird message. But, yes, so, oh, look, a flap display. The things that go and tick over. And eventually, I imagine we'll get digital displays as well. But, yeah, we'll deal with all that next time out. We'll be upgrading our, our uh, rails as well. We'll be upgrading the tracks because, yeah, we can't do anything anymore. We can't do much with it. <gasps> a proper bench. A proper bench. Look, it's an actual comfortable looking seat instead of a hard wooden thing. Oh, yes. This is very cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Stop. Stop talking about what we're going to do next time. Just just get on and do it, would you? So that's what we're going to do. We'll put the new tracks in. We'll make sure that we can have all the right sort of tracks and all the right trains coming in. That should be lovely. Because, yeah, look. Now, track 7 is updated. Track 8 isn't in. But that'll be good. So we can have the bigger trains. These trains that need the modern tracks coming in. Yeah, we really do need to update. Because a lot of these, one, two, three, four, five. How many is that? Half? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, just under half run the new rails. So we definitely need these in. We need these in as soon as possible. So that's it for now. If you have enjoyed this, please do leave a like. And to keep up to date with this series, please do subscribe. And also to keep up to date with all the other stuff we get up to as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered. And I will see you next time. We need loads of it. More resin. More. Oh, scanning. Blip, 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 scanning. Where's the way out? Oh, no. I'm going to run out of oxygen and die. They sound like proper killy, killy death rocks. They do. It's a watermelon. The bloody hell's that supposed to be? So when you fall down a big hole, you tend to die.